Hello again, this is Robert Veach here. This is my video review of the FNI RSI brand, their variable precision DC bench power supply. Up to 36 volts, 8 amps, or 285 watts approximately, with less than 10 millivolts of ripple, which is pretty amazing. We're going to test that. It's got an aluminum outer shell, all solid aluminum for heat dissipation and EMF shielding. It has USB A port, we're going to show right here, and a USB C port right there. On the back, it has the USB-C data port we're going to show, so you can program it with a PC. It has six data presets on here, which is pretty amazing. So what's, what's impressive about this is that you've got precise control of that voltage. Before I continue, I'm going to show how it was packaged. I'm using the foam to elevate it right now, but it was packaged with foam to make sure you get it all safe, and it was in a box uh, protecting everything. Also comes with a nicely written instruction manual and a one-year warranty. So what's impressive is the precision is what I was telling you about that this thing has precise control of everything. And uh, you could, you know, you could use it to charge things with these ports. You could use it to run uh, devices. I'm going to show you several examples of that. Right now you see the green light is on. I've got 18 volts coming out that I adjusted. I could hit that button there and it goes to red and that goes away. You could adjust the voltage quite precisely on here, but I'll show you that in a minute. If I go to this mode right here, it is a display of the voltage that I was putting on my load right there. You also have presets on there, A, B, C, and uh, very easy to use. There is a push button here you push in and left to right up and down buttons on there. The output on here is uh, really nice connectors, very generous, very decent gauge to them with very high quality clips. Now if you listen, the fan just came on. So the fan does regulate the temperature of this under load and even not under load. They want to keep it running really cool. And to do that, on the side it has ports right there on both sides for air circulation along there also. And then on the back, there is the computer fan that drives it. What's nice is they put the power switch in the back so that you can't accidentally shut it off. And then there is that port right there for data, USB-C, and here is a nice grounded plug that you plug in uh, US ports, AC 120 volts. Very, very nice, and as you can see, it's not large at all. When you think about that power, that's really impressive. So let me just give you a little example here. I'm going to turn this on. It's on 18 volts. And I've got one of these little converters. And I can put that across the plus here and the minus here. And now this converter is getting 18 volts because it works from 12 to 24. And then I can charge anything I want with it like this right here, I can charge, I can put my mobile phone on there and it will charge that. See it comes right on right there. The reason I'm showing this is because the cool display shows you right there, it shows you the actual amperage and the watts. So you get a direct instant feedback of the power in the watts that you are consuming. And that's really handy when you're doing an experiment and because they have this port on here, that is really nice. That way you set the voltage, you make sure that it's correct before you connect it to any device. And then you push that button, and there it goes, the green, and then it powers the device. And you see it's functional because it's charging. That's really an important feature so that you don't damage anything, any circuitry. It also comes with a nice uh, cable right here. Let's undo this so that you could use these ports on here while this is running. So let's just say I put plug this in right here to the USB A port on there, right there, and now I have a port for charging. Let's put it on my mobile phone again, and it starts charging my mobile phone. And you also have a USB C. So if you have a USB C to USB C, you can utilize that also for charging. Here I have a digital voltmeter connected to the outputs. I want to show you how precise this is. So I'm on this first uh, scale right here and I forgot to mention this does change the angle so that you can get a better view. That's nice depending on where you have this on your lab. 
So you see 17.84, it's matching on the voltmeter right there. And you could precisely change the, uh, the voltage on here. So I hit that button right there and it goes to the voltage display. And you could go to extremely small amounts. Look at that, 0.43, 0.42. We're talking about 100 of a volt. So this is a quite precise uh, device for getting precise voltages for your lab experiments or to drive something that is really voltage sensitive. And of course you're going to see the current also. You can also put current, uh, limit the current down there by moving down on this display right here and get to the current. You can actually preset that. But it's very, very precise. You can see it matches exactly on my multimeter. Here I'm doing an experiment. I'm at 36 volts. You can see I'm drawing 6.3 amps, 226 watts, getting a nice stable voltage. I have a very low high power resistor. It's getting very hot, toasty warm right there. So I'm just testing out the load capacity of this power supply, which seems to be very, very good. And uh, next thing we're going to check is the ripple of the power supply, but the power is excellent. Here's another experiment for the noise or the ripple. I have it under load, about 5.3 amps, using that load resistor right there. And you can see it's drawing about 37 watts at 7 volts. And I have a oscilloscope right there. And you can see it's got a really small amount of ripple at that load. That's the ripple or the noise at that. So at that DC voltage at 37 watts. So that's really good. So it's under load and it's producing a very good clean DC signal. So after testing, what do I think about the FNIRSI brand? Their variable precision DC bench power supply, which produces an impressive up to 36 volts, 8 amps, 285 watts with that really low ripple. Totally impressed with it. I'm impressed with the quality of the connectors on here. They're very high quality and uh, they're allowing that large amount of current, that 8 amps to go through them. And they're very generous. They're very long and you'll be able to reach your prototype circuit boards or whatever you're powering, a, a pie board or something, or a motor, it works really well. I love all the presets on here, the display showing you when you connect things up, it's kind of like a little oscilloscope showing the power, power in, power out, and the presets on here, and the simple display allowing you to move quite rapidly through this menu. Really, really nice quality, I'm impressed with it. I'm always impressed with this company and what they make, this FNIRSI brand. So I'm going to give this product a full five-star rating. I hope this video review helped you with your buying decision. Thank you for watching.